When you're working across multiple teams and project groups in one workspace, it makes sense to have some pages be accessible by some people and not by others. For example, you may only want your people ops team to be able to edit your company wiki, while everyone else can only read it. Or perhaps your marketing team is working on a big initiative that only they want to be able to access until it's ready to ship. This is a job for permissions. But it can be a lot of work and time to have to grant permissions to each person separately by inviting their email addresses. It's even more work to assign them an access level one by one, especially if you work with hundreds of other people. That's why Notion offers group permissions, allowing you to create groups of people within your workspace so you can grant them access to pages instantly at once. Keep in mind that only workspace admins can create groups. In this video, I'll show you how to create and manage groups of people in your workspace. Then I'll walk you through how you can assign these groups different permissions and levels of access to parts of your workspace. By the end, you'll be able to set up teams and project groups in a way that eliminates distraction, maintains organization, and helps everyone engage with the work that's most important to them. Let's start with an example. Let's say that you only want your engineering team to be able to contribute and make changes to your company's engineering wiki. Everyone else can read it, but not make edits. This keeps everything neat and tidy for the engineering team to operate, but makes their projects and knowledge transparent for the whole company. To make this possible, you'd go to Settings and Members in your sidebar. At the top of this window, you'll see two categories, Members and Groups. Click Groups. Here, you can see that we've already created groups for the other teams in the organization. So Support, Sales, Design, and Marketing. To create a group for the engineering team, we'll click Create a Group. Give your group a name here. We'll call this one Engineering. You can even add an icon to make it memorable and give it some personality. Now add members. Just type their names and they'll pop up in the menu. In this case, you would add all the members of your engineering team. Let's do that. While I have you here, I'll point out that you can remove members from groups at any time simply by clicking Remove. And you can use this three-dot menu to rename or delete any group. OK, so now we have our engineering team ready to go. As a next step, Let's go back to our engineering wiki. As always, you can see who can view this page by clicking share on the top right. In this window, you'll see whether this page is shared publicly to the web, whether it's accessible to all members in your workspace, and if it's shared with any other groups or guests. Note that our newly minted engineering team is here too. As you can see, this engineering wiki is shared with the entire workspace and everyone has full access. This means that everyone can not only make edits to the page, they can also share it with anyone they want, including guests. We want to change this so only engineers can edit and everyone else can simply read. To do this, we'd first switch on access to the page for the engineering team group. Click the toggle next to Share with Engineering, then use this drop-down menu underneath to assign the right access level. Let's change to Can Edit. Now all your engineers can edit this page, but so can everyone else. Next, we need to change the access level for everyone else in the workspace. Under the Share with Acme Inc., we can use the same drop-down menu and select Can View. Instantly, all other members in the workspace can only see this page but not edit it. It's that easy to assign permissions in bulk using groups. Now let's say you don't want your engineering wiki to be visible to anyone at all except your engineers. In that case, you could just turn off workspace access by clicking the toggle next to Share with Acme Inc you'll see this pop-up warning you that you're removing access from the rest of the workspace. For everyone outside of the engineering group, the wiki will disappear from their sidebar and no longer be findable. Also note that the access level you choose for your entire workspace will logically be the lowest access level for anyone in your organization. Groups let you set higher access levels to specific pages in your workspace for a specific group of people. For instance, if you set your workspace access level to can edit, then setting your engineer's access level to can view hasn't really accomplished anything because you have already given everyone higher access. Groups and access levels open up all kinds of powerful combinations for large organizations. Within a single workspace, you can have whole teams operating day to day with hundreds or even thousands of people connected in different ways with different permissions. With so many people working remotely, it's more important than ever to have digital spaces that keep communication flowing and replicate the way teams work together. 
We hope this video helps make this possible while saving you time in the process. Thank you.